Hi there guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your new Wear OS device and to do that we're going to use a tick watch. Hi there guys, my name's Shane Bow and I make running and technology videos. So the first thing that you want to be doing with your new Wear OS device is plugging it in and giving it a really great charge. Make sure it's 100% charged. When your watch is fully charged and turned on, it'll then load Wear OS. This takes about one minute. So the first thing you need to do is just tap to begin and then select your language. You then got a privacy notice, read this and click on I've read it. It's then time to go to your phone. So Wear OS needs to be downloaded from your app store. Once that's done, just click on setup, agree to the terms of service, and then agree. It'll then link to your Wear OS watch. Just press OK, and then it connects. On the next screen, just confirm that the pass key is the same, then press OK. It's then connected. You'll then see on the next screen, it says getting your watch details. You can now put your watch on the side. All you need to do now is follow the prompts on your phone. On the next screen, it'll ask you to choose which Google account you'd like to copy to your watch. When you've selected that, press next. If you don't already have a Google account, the phone will give you the option of creating a new Google account. Then for added security, you just need to confirm your lock screen passcode. And then you can copy all of your Google accounts over to your watch. After around five minutes, you'll see you're all set and your watch will also say touch done on your phone. So let's touch done. So if your watch gives you the option for some software updates, definitely do them. It's great to have the latest operating system on your watch. So before we start closing this video down, let's have a look at the real basics of how to use Wear OS. So if you slide from the top, you get your menu and settings options. Just slide back up to go back to the main watch screen. If you slide over from the right, you get the tiles and these are customizable. Slide back over to go back to the main watch screen. If you then slide up, you'll get the notifications from your phone. You can also press the side button to go back to the main screen. And then if you slide from the right, you get Google and your Google Assistant options. So there you go. Your new Wear OS device is fully set up and ready to go. Just spend some time having a play around with it and looking at all the customizable options there are on there because there are so many different things that you can do. There are some more videos that I link to in the description below and that are coming up in just a moment. I just want to say a big thank you to the team over at Mobvoi for giving me a couple of tick watches to play around with and make these series of videos with. Thank you very much. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you have any questions, just put them in the description below and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.